a day of national mourning with flags at half-staff. And at the presidential palace, a minute of silence. At this exact time and date, 50 years ago, Chile's presidential palace was bombed in a violent military coup that overthrew the country's democratically elected socialist president, Salvador Allende. His daughter, Isabel Allende, today a senator, fought back tears as she recalled that day. I was the last person to come into the palace with my father. I insisted on going with him. Only a handful of those who were arrested by the army after Allende's death survived. These people are all lining up to see the shoes that former President Salvador Allende was wearing on the day of the military coup. They are here on display on, in Morande 80, that's the name of the street, and the door from where his body was taken out after he committed suicide. But this whole area was completely erased under the military dictatorship. They put cement all over it, and it was only restored as a door to the palace when Chile returned to democracy in 1990. Current and former heads of state from Latin America, Europe, and Scandinavia attended the commemoration ceremony. The aim of this commemoration was to underscore the importance of defending democracy and human rights. My father's fingers had been burned to erase his fingerprints. They told us he'd been thrown out of a helicopter, but in fact his body was found 20 years later through DNA testing. Left-wing President Gabriel Boric insisted military takeovers are never justified. That's why we rebel against those who say there was no alternative in 1973. Of course there are alternatives. Tomorrow or the next, when we have conflicts, we'll be able to resolve them with more democracy, not less. But Chile's conservative opposition boycotted the ceremony, underscoring how divisive the coup still is. Some say Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet saved the country. What about the human rights violations, I ask? Human rights are an invention of the communists. It's all an urban legend. A belief that makes it painfully evident that half a century has not been long enough for Chileans to agree on their history and what to do to heal still open wounds. To see a human Al Jazeera, Santiago. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.